All right, hey, what's up, y'all? It is Josh Vasquez, author of the Savannah Zombie novel, and I'm um, coming to you today with an author update. It is June the 15th, 2017, and it's it's been a minute since I've updated anywhere because I've kind of been just in this weird, I'm on the internet, I'm not on the internet, hiatus kind of deal. So um, just putting this out here to tell my fans, tell the people that are wondering, you know, where the heck have you been? What are you doing? So that's just what this video is about, and uh, hopefully I'll be posting more videos to this channel soon. So hit that subscribe button, and uh, you'll find out all the latest news about Savannah Zombie Novel, a new death, a new darkness, and hopefully a new daybreak sometime soon. Which brings me to point number one, which is... Where the heck is New Daybreak? I know I've teased this book since the end of A New Darkness, and I pretty much left A New Darkness on a cliffhanger of some sorts, which was kind of a doo-doo head move on my part, but I didn't intend for there to be so much of a gap in between books two and three. Um, for those of you that follow the storyline, you know that there's Lex, the short story, in between books two and three, and that you've probably read that, and you're probably like, when the heck is the rest of it coming? Well, this is when it's coming whenever I finish it. So I'm not quite there yet. I'm still working on it. Just uh, where I'm at in life now, uh, this is not my main job. This is my secondary when I have any kind of free time kind of job, and that's what I do. So uh, just uh, bear with me in the timing. I, I When I try to find work on it, I do, and it will be out eventually. It will be out this year. Whether it's going to, it, this, whether it's going to be this summer or the fall, probably the fall, it's probably going to be the fall. I'm just going to say that. Don't expect it this summer. If it happens this summer, then know that I got fired and I have nothing else, else better to do. Okay, so uh, it's coming. I promise it's going to be good. I've got the uh, I've got the outline here in my trusty green notebook and uh, I would read you some, but it's just too good. I can't share it with you yet. So we're going to let that stew just a little bit longer and uh, if you follow my email list, I've sent it out before, and I'm always looking for beta readers. If you want to read it before it gets published, before I put it out there in the world, ready for your reader eyes, then get on the email list. I send emails, well, okay, I don't send emails all the time, but I send emails most of the time saying, hey, would you be interested in beta reading? So um, I've had a few people hit me back, and I've sent off the first three chapters. For people just to read and let me know their thoughts. If you need that sneak peek, then you just freaking get on that email list. Thing number two that has been drawing my attention away from writing, which I know is like, you're an author, that's the only thing you do. Well, it's not. It's not. When you're a self-published author, you do a lot of stuff. You do a lot of extra stuff. You do a lot of uh, marketing. You do a lot of uh, making a website. Even though my website doesn't look that great, it's still a website because that's as best I can do. Um, so there's a lot of other things besides writing. And then you do all the editing. And then there's just all this other stuff. I'm not whining. I'm not complaining. I enjoy all of it. I'm just saying there's a lot of stuff to do. And it's not the main thing I do. You know, I got the job. I got my family. I got a two-year-old now. And she's just like everywhere and um, so just just know that I whenever I get time to crank on it I'm getting there but the thing number two that's taken away my time is that if you've been following me since the beginning and if you know the story of a Savannah zombie novel and a new death how it started off was in senior year of high school I wanted to make a low-budget zombie movie with my friend we were crazy about zombie movies and we watched all kinds of like just low-budget horror movies and we just you know watched them all and there was this one that was called hiding creep and it was it was super low budget but it was good and I'm we thought to each other like we can do this we can make something like this and so we started making up this story and we started kind of like uh, developing a, a simple plot of just characters getting from point A to point B and it wasn't going to be fancy it was just going to be super low budget and it was going to be awesome problem was is that we were in high school and we had zero money because we had no jobs and so pretty much how it ended up was I wrote out an outline for the movie and then a few pages of a script and then for years did nothing with it and they'll Finally, I was like, well, I started writing some of it, and I turned some of it into a few chapters, and then 
through another friend who encouraged me to keep writing. I was like, okay, okay. And I wrote him another chapter, and I sent him another chapter, and another chapter. And then finally, I'm writing this zombie novel that I had no intentions of originally doing. But there it is. Boom. That's how, that's how I got my start. I've never lost that itch to make that zombie movie. And now that I have this world to play in, this sandbox of the Savannah zombie universe, is that a thing? The Savannah zombie universe? The SZU? Be kind of cool, like Marvel's cinematic universe, or somewhat cool, like the DC cinematic universe, or whatever they're calling it. Um, but, anyways, uh, not a diss against DC. I like what they're doing. It's just different. It's just different. So, um,. Anyways, I've got this this just this universe to play in now, and I really want to make some zombie movies. So part of what's been taking away some of my free time from writing is that I've been focused on learning what I can about filmmaking and what I can about low-budget filmmaking. So maybe I can start cranking out some zombie shorts soon. It's going to be on this channel, so make sure you subscribe because that will be coming out hopefully soon. I've got one in the, in the chamber, and I just have to just go through it and just, just make it. Just do it. So um, that's number two. Number three, three is um, I've had this idea for a, a nonfiction book of how to write a zombie novel, but I was like, you know what? Let's not write another book because you can barely finish the book you're working on. So what I thought I'd do is, hey, I have this YouTube channel. I'm not doing anything really with it. I've got the audiobook for CJ Story on there, and I've got a couple of short deals that I've just kind of thrown on here to have some kind of content. But hey, what if I take this idea of how to write a zombie novel and I make it into like a series? And I just every now and then up, well not every now and then. I'll have, I'll have a set time. I'll, I'll do it, and I'll do this series on how to write a zombie novel or any novel for that matter you just take out the zombies and then BAM you got a regular novel it's just you don't have zombies yeah? cool so anyways I'm gonna be doing that and uh, that's gonna be coming up soon so I don't know if I've mentioned it but you should probably subscribe because all the cool things will be coming and uh, that's where I'm at that's what's going on uh, I, I'm really tired right now I probably should have took a nap today but I've this is my third attempt to make this video and hopefully the camera is rolling behind in front of me and uh, it's not crashing like it did last time or it's not not looking good I, I, I'm somewhat of a perfectionist I like to do things the right way when it comes to creating stuff so I mean I went and I bought lights and I've got like some I'm trying to do some kind of set I, I don't know I don't know this is this is the beginning all right so that's all I have to say. I think I'm rambling now, but that's cool. I'll do that. I'll, every now and then I'll probably put up a ramble. Um, if there's stuff you want to see on this channel, if there's things that you want to see, I'm going to hopefully do some behind the scenes of shooting those zombie movies. And then I'm in the middle of writing book three. So not only will I be teaching you how to write that zombie novel, I'm right there with you. So uh, I'm not like a super best-selling author. My advice is not followed by millions on Twitter. I'm not some kind of social media guru. I'm not some kind of writing expert. But I've written two books. I've written two short stories. And I've done all of it on my own. Um, I didn't go to uh, college for writing. I didn't go uh, any other kind of special training for writing. It's just something that I love to do. And just this is me honing my craft and teaching you guys what I know at the same time, which may not be much, and there's so many better resources out there, but uh, this is just my outlet for teaching you guys how to do things the way that I do things, or the way that you want to do things compared to the way I do things. It's whatever. I don't care. So anyways, that's it. That's it for the up update. Uh, so anyways, I'll see you guys later, and uh, keep writing.